people on TikTok are quitting vaping in solidarity with Congo. People throw away an estimated 150 million vapes every year in the US alone, tossing billions of dollars worth of materials like copper, iron, and cobalt into landfills. Cobalt is necessary to create lithium ion batteries for electronics, such as phones, electric vehicles, and yes, vapes. Approximately 74% of that cobalt is mined in the DRC, but mining cobalt is dangerous and has been called modern day slavery. Cobalt is toxic to touch and breathe, and there are hundreds of thousands of poor Congolese people touching and breathing it day in and day out. Congolese children are subjected to the worst forms of child's labor, no personal protective equipment, and working chaotic conditions for the equivalent of just a few dollars a day. As many in the Western world look for ways to help from afar, inspiring people to finally give up vaping. So did y'all, you know, get together and organize a replacement source of income for all those people before you decided to stop vaping to support the Congo? No, you didn't because you're too st They're not doing that because they want to. They're doing that because they have to because that is their only source of income. So when you boycott something and you haven't replaced that source of income for those people in that country, the people that own the mines just cut them loose. They don't have no job, no way to get food, no income. You did that. So you have to provide an alternate source of income before you boycott and therefore force them to lose their only source of income. You know, they say the road to hell is paved with good intentions. And y'all must be in a hurry to get there.